So first we are going to learn something about brain and its functions. Now brain is an organ which is located inside our head in a bony cage called skull which is to protect brain from outer forces because brain is a very delicate organ. Now as a living being we live in an environment so environment could be external or internal. When I talk about external environment, it is like something outside our body. And when I talk about internal environment, it is something inside our body. So if there's any change, now change is really important, it's crucial because our brain is programmed to sense any changes rather than whole environment because if we are sensing the whole environment there could be a lot of sensory information which can actually overload our brain so if there's any change in our environment it will work as a stimulus now this stimulus is detected by our sensory system which could be our eyes ears nose or our tongue or maybe skin so this stimulus is detected by a sensory system and this information is relayed to our brain now this is done by nerves which are called sensory nerves. So when the information is reaching to our brain, it is usually processed or it can be stored also. So this information is processed and after processing, brain is going to decide an appropriate action. So brain is going to relay information to our motor system which is made of muscles which actually move our body. So, this information is going to our motor system so that an appropriate action could take place. Now this action is going to change environment which could be again external and internal. So again, the function of brain is to sense any changes and to act to make an appropriate change in our environment. Now for example, if you are outside your home and suddenly it's getting cold so this is something which will be sensed by your sensory system basically skin you're gonna feel cold this information will be sent to brain and then your brain is going to decide an action so either you could go inside your home or you could actually put on a jacket so this is how we detect changes in our external environment now Suppose if you are feeling hungry, now this is changed in your internal environment. So this change again is going to sense by sensory system. Now this sensory system will relay information to our brain. Then there will be an action through motor system and there will be change in environment which like maybe we can eat something so that our blood glucose will rise and there will be again change in our system. So this is how brain works. Now usually it's a fast response or a quick response. There's a change sensed, information sent to brain, then processed by brain and sent to motor system, action took place and there's again a change in the moment. Now sometimes action does not need to be quick and there can be some delayed responses. Now this is something mediated through receptors in our brain or through hormones. We can talk about it, receptors and re hormones in a different video because otherwise it will be a very long topic. So once again, brain is a part of nervous system and its main purpose is to sense any change in our environment, process this information and take an appropriate action through motor system. So finally, there is a change which is suitable for your body.